Hey guys, today we are back with another mail day. I've been traveling in New York. I was just at a card show out there doing a little event. So the mail is kind of piled up. So I'm excited to see what we have and I'm excited to get into it. Cool variety today. You probably saw the title, my riskiest pickup ever. I spent the most I've ever spent on a raw card. So we'll see what kind of condition it is. And I'll kind of talk you through my thought process. I also have a PSA and an SGC submission back. It's not a blind reveal. I know you guys like those, but I'm a, I'm a weak, weak man. So while I was in New York, I, I couldn't help myself. I looked at the grades, but also those two guys real quick. And yeah, some cool other stuff as well. I'm a little under the weather, so I apologize if I, if I sound a little weird. I'm powering through the content for you guys, but uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's see what we got. All right, let's, let's, let's start off with the, with the PSA submission. Not a blind reveal, but I thought, you know, you guys still might be interested just to see what we got. Just always cool to show you. Um, not as not as big of a, of a reveal as last time. Not many big time cards. I don't think there's hardly any F1 in here. Um, but there is still some interesting stuff. The infamous Red Holland lot. It's funny, I was in New York and people were like, oh, you're the guy with the Red Holland lot. And like I had one there. I don't know, it's just funny that I feel like a lot of people remember this video where I picked them up. Um, but I got one nine, a 10. I mean, just move this, it'll, we'll see. Like, I think this is a really cool card. This is number 88. I wouldn't even mind holding on to this, to be honest. I'll probably, I'll probably move it, but should be able to get some good profit just based off on that one alone. Purple Velocity 10, this one is numbered to 99. Happy with that as well. The Pedris though, oh man, I got killed on these. Eight and eight. And actually I didn't check, let's see. This one, yeah, this one, uh, I guess it has a tiny bit of edge wear, but it doesn't look bad. I guess the, the centering is off on that one. Centering is kind of off on both, to be honest, but yeah, I guess there's, there is edge wear on this one. I mean, maybe could have pulled a nine. What are you gonna do? Uh, eights are just tough. Uh, another nine for Holland. A lot of nines as well, right? I thought I thought I would pull two tens, like two tens, two nines, but at least I got one, so I can't complain. And then this Ronaldo is pretty sick as well numbered Ronaldo Immaculate. I just think that Immaculate's a clean card, man. I'm a big fan of especially this year. Um, nine, I'm assuming this is fairly low pop. Cool card. I was I was, I was, was fairly happy with that PSA submission. Next, we'll just go through the, the SGC as well real quick. I think that these were, yeah, relatively smaller orders. Uh, shout out to Nash cards for this one. Um, way of blue, got a nine, tough grade, but still a cool looking card. Uh, Holland Optic Hollow SGC 10. This is a tough grade. This is a cool card. I'm surprised. Like, you know, I listed it up and I was like, man, this only does 150 bucks or something. I think that's pretty cheap. Another one that not really in a rush to get rid of. Red Velocity SGC 10. Um, that's cool. This was from that, that eBay lot as well. So do well on that. Ocon SGC. This was a pretty good P uh, SGC submission. I did pretty well on this one. Refractor 10, this one already sold, happy about that. Musiala, Topps Chrome Refractor 10. See, this is, this is see these 10s? This is where you, you, it's worth it and you kinda just gotta keep submitting. You know, I feel like I got, I didn't do anything different with these cards. These cards were no better, to be honest. That's how I feel. I always say I'm not an expert grader, but this time I thought we were, they were a little bit more generous. Uh, Camavinga 10, I mean, this is a hard grade, got a 10 on that. Ocon, purple, 9.5. Desmond Bain, 9.5. Getting a little little basketball action in there. I know people have been asking for it. Daniel Ricardo, purple, 9.5. Uh, Lamelo Ball, 9.5. I'm surprised. I thought this basketball stuff would move just because there's so many collectors. I have this on eBay for like 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Like, I haven't even gotten an offer. So, this is, I'm learning, right? I'm learning. Maybe that's not the move. Charles de Catelier. I actually saw an interesting stat on him the other day. It was like most goal contributions, so goals and assists under 21 in the in Europe or something like that. And it was like the usual suspects. It was like Venetius Holland. But I want to say he was number three. And he's pretty cheap. So that's kind of why I've been, there's like barely, I think if you look on eBay, like SGC graded cards, mine might be like one of two. So that's why, I don't know, just kind of had sense to have that up. And then another Lamello. I'll probably just end up moving these cheap. I mean, I feel like at a card show, right? Someone's gotta want this for like 40, 50 bucks. I don't know, who knows, we'll see. All right, next up, one small one before we get into that, uh, that big raw card reveal. This one is 
Who is this from? Oh wow, he even in, in, uh, included the free card. That was really nice of him. So this is this is from my guy. Let me make sure I get this right. I'm gonna have it on screen because he hooked him hooked it up. It's really cool. Um, believe it's Queen City Finest cards, but don't worry. I'll I'm gonna put his Instagram on screen. And make sure it's it's properly represented. But man, look at what he made for me. Wow, three custom 3D printed card storage. So if you guys have seen me in my vlogs and stuff, I like to set up at card shows and I like to put out you know cheap slabs and stuff for people to have. But look at this. How cool is that? People are gonna be able to come to shows and then they have a custom, like they can just, this is cool, man. Or even just to have in your house to like display or store your cards. Man, he, he, he killed it with the logo and everything. These, these are awesome. And he even threw in, he threw in a free Pedri card, man. You didn't have to do that. That's, that's so nice. But wow. Yeah. Seeing these in person, these are really cool, relatively affordable. I'm not going to, I'm not going to plug it too hard. He didn't pay me to like have this in here. He, I, I paid for these, um, but definitely go check them out. These are, these are really cool, man. 3d printed, I believe, uh, cool for card shows or just storing your cards right there with the logo. Great stuff. Thank you, man. But all right, now into the big kahuna, my most expensive raw card purchase ever. What could it be? What could it be? Oh boy. All right, we got this sealed up. Give me one second, I gotta cut this. All right, got it. Should be all good to go now. Let's take it out. Very nicely packaged, I appreciate that. Got the cardboard. Make sure you guys do the cardboard, especially with raw cards so you can protect it. Um, this is exactly how I packaged mine, so he's got the right idea. Alrighty. Oop. One more. Sorry about that. This is this is how we build the anticipation. This is my the mail day equivalent of a stro slow roll. I usually like to have these ready, but all right. Boom. Holland. RPA? Can we call it that? Regardless, a really cool card. And man, this looks pretty clean, actually. This is, wow, auto's nice. This looks clean, man, top right corner. That looks clean. This is gonna be interesting, guys. This is gonna be really, really interesting. So, you know, I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't say exactly what I paid for it, but I'm gonna do it. I paid 3.5K for this. And we're not going to get fully into the comps and everything. Um, it's kind of weird. This is not the video for that, but I think I did well. I, I think I did well. I would say like, I have to imagine worst case, someone's going to give me 2.5 K for this. Like I just, I, I don't think with this move to city and everything. Um, if I go and get this graded, it, this is a Beckett card. I think I'm going to get this graded in Dallas and, and this could do something. So I don't know. He's hot right now. It looks clean. It's, I remember like, I, I'm not gonna get into the full story, but how this came into my hands is kind of weird. Like someone hit me up specifically about it. Um, so I got a good deal on it. We'll see, man, I'm, I'm really happy. 26 out of 50, keep an eye on this. I'll keep you guys updated how this goes. It's definitely risky, but I think I got into it for a good price. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that one. All right, last couple, just a couple more packages. I don't even know exactly. What's in some of these? This is a lot of cards. Oh, I know what this is. This, I believe, is an F1 lot. Um, shout out my guy for hooking it up. Got a ton of Lewis Hamilton in here. I've I've just, like, these past couple days, guys, I think I literally have made myself sick because of, I mean, it sounds kind of, like, douchey to be like, oh, I've, been, I've just been grinding so hard. But I, I've, these lots are a lot of work. So it's like I'm traveling and then I'm listing and doing all this stuff. But... There's some cool stuff in here. Um, I want to say this whole lot was like 200 bucks. They have this Hamilton number one. There's obviously, there's a corner issue in there, so it's not gradable, but I mean, the super refractor just went for, what was it, like almost a million dollars. So this for my cost was maybe less than a hundred bucks. Bunch of raw cards. And then there's also uh, a refractor, the thumbs up one. I don't know which one, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's like one of the more desirable ones. I'll probably get that graded. And I think like, even if I get a nine, that might be able to pay for this whole thing. So I don't know, that's just what I was thinking. Always good to have some Lewis Hamilton cards and uh, probably take this to Dallas as well and see what we can do. Last but not least, 
We have one more. We have a graded card pickup. Okay, see it in there. I appreciate the, okay, I just totally messed up the bubble wrap. It's all good. But shout out uh, 317 cards. He was super flexible with me on this one. Um, I have all of a sudden, wow, this is not graceful at all. I've all of a sudden become something of a Anthony super collector. I don't know how that exactly happened, but had a lot of people ask about him. A lot of people are high on him. So I guess that kind of just got me thinking and geez, man, I can't, this is, tight. there we go. Okay. Anthony gold SGC 10. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Number two, 50, but super, super cool. Um, I moved the Pedri, so I kind of had to fill that hole. I got an Anthony. Good price on it. I want to say it was like 500 or something like that. So fine to hold on to this going into the World Cup. That's the thing. Like I'm trying to move a little bit quicker because I'm I'm home now. I'm going to shows. I'm trying to kind of keep things moving. But certain cards, I still like wouldn't mind holding this one bit. That's kind of like you almost have leverage in a sense, right? It's like, well, if someone gives me the right offer, sure, I'm going to move it. But I also wouldn't mind holding on to it. So pretty cool card. Cool way to end the mail day. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll keep the videos coming. Thanks again.